Hi, it's Joa. Today I'm going to show you how to add photos to an image. An access paw is what I'm going to use. Um, you, this could also be done with an uploaded SVG and use the same basic steps. Um, I am going to change my settings back to the classic view uh, if you've not done that done so already I tried to make my first screen recording using the new canvas style and there were some bugs I called Cricut and reported that so for this one we will use that classic view um, the first thing you want to do is upload the photos that you want to insert into the shapes so I've already done that when I <laughs> tried to record the first screen recording, but you'll want to use this upload pattern. And you'll navigate to where you have the folder save or your folder. Navigate to the folder where you have saved your photos. Um, so you can come down and pick whichever photos that you want to upload. The key there is to use that pattern, not the normal spot where we would upload um, photos or SVG files. So let me click out of here since I mentioned I've already uploaded my photos. The next thing we want to do, I'm going to just grab a paw print from Access. I mentioned you could uh, use an external SVG source also. Okay, so I've got a paw print here and um, the Facebook group user that asked about this specifically was asking how to put images in each of the pieces. <clears throat> so the pad and then I'm gonna call these fingers. I, I don't technically know what they're called. Um, so because this is five pieces, we need to have five paw prints and then we will contour out for each one so that we can have a different image in each piece of this design. So I'm going to duplicate this four times and then select them all and stack them all up perfectly even. So I, I centered them. Okay, next. Just to make it easier to see the different layers, I'm going to, they, they won't even end up this, these colors, but I'm going to make each layer a different color so that we don't get confused as we are working through this process. So you can't see them right now, but each of the layers over here, the five layers are all different colors. So we're gonna start at the top. This top one, I'll focus on the big pad part of the paw here. So we want to contour the rest of the pieces out. We will not use the fingers or toes for this portion. So I'm left with just the big part here in the peach color. And to do this, we are going to come up here to no fill and change it to print. We will then select, instead of the color, you, you click on the color box, but we're gonna come here to pattern. And then there's a bunch of different Cricut patterns in here and you'll see these, there's some photos that I mentioned I uploaded too. So I'm going to click this photo to add it to my paw print. And you'll see, this is a photo of my daughter and my dog and it, it starts duplicating it and it's not lined up how we'd like. So you'll click edit pattern and on this screen you can edit the pattern this was the issue I was having in the new view it, it would let me edit it and show it to me correctly on the edit pattern window but then it, it didn't save it down here so like I said I've reported that issue um, so you can scale you can either use the slider or um, click up the buttons here to do a little bit of a time and then you can move it left and right too. I think it looks pretty centered but I'm going to move it up so we don't have so much of the trees. In this view you literally have to keep clicking um, to get this where you want it. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we have the pad portion done. I'm going to focus on the next layer. Here again, we want to contour. So I'm going to work left to right. Um, so I'm going to work on this little left finger or toe. So that's the only part of this layer I want. So I'll keep this one and click on the remainder of these to hide them. So now I'm left with that little toe. Once again, I'll come up here and change my fill to print. Go to color and select the pattern, which is actually my photo. And then we'll stick Miley. Miley is my puppy. She's three and a half. Um, so we will scale this up. Whoa, it goes pretty quick that way. So that's, whoa. We'll use the one at a time. Um, and then I'll make this one go up a little bit too. That looks good. So I'll close that. And now I'm ready to move on. Once again, now I'm on this middle layer. I'm going to use the this piece of the paw. So we want to contour out the rest. Click Just simply click those. Close the hide contour box. And again, we'll come up to print and print type, not color. We're going to select our pattern, which is actually our photo. Um, let's see, we'll pick Miley as a puppy here. And again, I'm going to edit. Let's move this up a little bit. And then this one, I wanna move that over. This isn't the best photo you'll see here. The ground starts over, but this photo was taken horizontally and the shape is more vertical. So probably not the best fit, but it is what it is. Go back this way. There we go. That's pretty good. We will close that one and you just keep continuing you know to to do this contour out the piece the pieces that you're not using for that so now I'm left with just this one and we will come up here change it from no fill to print change it from a color to a pattern which is actually a photo um, pick this picture from a couple years ago and again, I need to edit the pattern. That's pretty good. So we'll just scale that one and it looks um, pretty good shape there. Close that. And then one the last one, this again, we will want to contour since we're using the far right. And we'll pick one more photo. Print type pattern. Uh, whatever we have this photo left and again it's it kind of tiles them it, it appears I'm not sure why oh my goodness she's so cute okay now I have my paw and five different pictures the next step will be to this obviously has to be a print and cut and so we need to select all of them and flatten once you do that, it you'll see it's up here. It's now all one big layer and flattened. So that's it. You can click make it and print it on paper or sticker paper, um, you know, however you wanted to, to use the photo paw. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.